Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do loopback test and troubleshoot peer and learn connectivity. Step 1. Look at the card or the interface. This is our card T1 slash E1 and Ethernet cable is connected and LED is glowing. If LED is glowing, then the card can be assumed to be ok. There may be issue with the PRI line or the cabling. But if the LEDs are not glowing, then the card may be faulty or it may not be properly inserted or there may be issues with the cabling or the PRI line. In that case, switch up the router, remove the card, clean it if necessary and reinsert it and connect the cables back. Switch on the router and check if it is comes up. Then look at the PRI adapter. So from the right hand side, the PRI lines are coming, 4 wires and from the left hand side, Ethernet cables go straight to the router. In case of issue, just change the Ethernet cable and check if it is working. If not, and if possible, open the adapter and check if the PRI wires anywhere got disconnected. Next, connect console with the router and get the console prompt or tell net to the router. Next, git command show space inventory that will show you all the connected devices and components. So, I have highlighted this part name bwixc2 hyphen 1mft hyphen t1 slash e1. One port rj48 multiflex trunk t1 slash e1 on slot 0 sub slot 0. Description bwixc2 1mft t1 that is it. This is PID or product ID or part ID bwix2 hyphen 1 mft hyphen t1 slash e1 by this part code cisco identifies the part next vid or version id and next serial number so you will need the pid and the serial number to get a replacement from cisco or your vendor and you can see it's connected to slot 0 sub slot 0 let me show you this is eh week slot 0 and there is no sub slot so only one slot that's why it's zero so the card is detecting in show inventory so you can assume the card is good there may be issue with the pri line then you will give the command show space running hyphen config or simply show space run and press enter that will give you the running configuration of router from hatch prompt give command show space isdn space status and check layer 1 status is shut down so layer 1 or physical layer is down and if layer 1 is down layer 2 and layer 3 will not work next give command show space controller space e1 space 0 slash 0 slash 0 you can see e1 0 slash 0 slash 0 is down e1 is for european lines in american scenario it is called t1 and the 0 slash 0 slash 0 I got from this running config. So this is some part of the running configuration I want to show you. First line is card space type E1. This is E1 card. Then 0 space 0. That means slot 0 sub slot 0. It is connected to. Next is controller space E1 0 slash 0 slash 0. So this is the controller which controls the PRI line and its connectivity. Next is interface space serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 15. Finally, voice hyphen port 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 15. This is the voice interface. So, for this activity, we need a loopback plug or adapter. It is nothing but a simple Ethernet cable with one end cut off. Now, if you look at the RJ45 connector while keeping the pin side downward, then the left pin will be the pin 1. So we need to sort the pin 1 and pin 4 together. So in my cable, the pin 1 is orange white and pin 4 is blue. So I will sort the blue and the orange white pin together. You can see on the right hand side, pin 2 and pin 5 together. So pin 2 is orange and pin 5 is blue white. So I will sort them orange and blue white together, keeping the rest of the pins intact not connected. Next I will connect this loopback plug on the PRI port interface. Then 
I will go to router hash prompt and I will give the command config space t to go to router config hash prompt also called global configuration mode. I will give command controller space e1 space 0 slash 0 slash 0 press enter prompt will change to config hyphen controller hash then no space pri hyphen group space time slots space 1 slash 31 press enter it gave a message controller must be shut down before unconfiguring pri group to gracefully bring IF down ifdn give command shut down this will shut down the controller u1 also it will shut down the serial interface and next from router config hash prompt controller u1 0 slash 0 slash 0 press enter no space pri group time slots it gave me a message voice interface must be shut down before deleting pri group go back one step by exit from global configuration mode voice hyphen port 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 15 shut down press enter this will shut down the voice interfaces again we try to give same command no pri group time slots press enter i got a message remove layer 3 binding first again give exit command to go one step back interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 15 press enter the prompt will change to config hyphen if that is interface configuration mode give command no space isdn space bind hyphen l3 space ccm hyphen manager press enter give exit to go one step back from router config hash prompt again controller u1 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the same command no pri group time slots press enter this time the command will be accepted next i need to assign an ip address to the serial interface for the loopback so from router config hash prompt give command interface space serial space 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 0 this time it is 0 only that is only one serial interface we are keeping press enter prompt will change to config if prompt give command encapsulation space hdlc press enter then ip space address space 10.10.10.10 space subnet mask that is 255.255.255.0 press enter and no space shutdown press enter this will enable the serial interface and next from router hatch prompt give command show space interfaces space serial space 0 slash 0 slash 0 colon 0 you can see the interface is down also you can give command show space controller space e1 0 slash 0 slash 0 press enter e1 interface is also down so you have to enable the e1 interface so from router config hash prompt give command controller space e1 space 0 slash 0 slash 0 press enter and no shutdown press enter this will enable the controller e1 also it will enable the serial interface so we are ready for the loopback test from router hatch prompt give command ping space ip space 10.10.10.10 space repeat space 1000 this will do 1000 ping so you can see success rate is 100% 1000 by 1000 also, if you give show controller e1, 0 slash 0 slash 0, e1 is up right now. So, after this loopback test, we can confirm our interface and our PRI card is ok and functional. The issue is with the PRI line. Then you need to call your internet service provider or your telecom company and tell them to check the PRI line. So, what is loopback? It is nothing but looping back the interface that means instead of sending the data outside we are again sending the data back to inside the interface how you can see the two pins are sorted and two pins are sorted so in pri as you can remember four wires were coming okay 
two pairs. Now here we have twisted two pairs. That is four wires. We have sorted them together. So basically, we are looping back. That is the concept of loop back. This confirms the interface is working logically and physically. Now something about PRI. This is the PRI adapter. When you send the data via the Ethernet port, it comes to this PRI adapter and then it goes to the PRI line. And this PRI line, so the PRI line terminates something like this. This is called FTTB, that is fiber to the building. It is some kind of telephone junction box where all the PRI and the other lines terminates. And from this box, a line or more than one lines goes to the telephone company or the internal service provider. So that's it for now. You can watch my other CCNA tutorials, links in the video description below. Thanks for watching, see you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing. And don't forget to like and share the video.